Welcome back to MK Gadgets. I love this time of year after the holidays. It gives me a time to catch up on some of my reading. And recently pulled out an old copy of Machinist Workshop. This is February, March, 2010. In there on page 37 is an article on parallel retaining clips. This gentleman included a drawing and he machined them on a nylon. And there's the retaining clips used on a vise. I took the dimensions from the article's drawing, the Fusion 360. I changed a few dimensions. I radius this corner to save on plastic. And I put a chamfer so when you press the magnet in, it'd be easier for assembly. Let's take a look at the printer. So this one's printed in black. The hole is 3 8 for a 3 8 magnet, and the magnet is an eighth inch thick. That will be pressed in. Take the part off the 3D printer, and I just trim the edges with a deburring tool, and remove any excess plastic. The magnet will be needed to be pressed in. But before we do that, let's talk about parallels. Parallels come in a few types. These are your standard parallels. This tool steel has been precision ground and parallels always come in sets. The higher precision the parallel is in thickness and in width, the more expensive they are. They usually come in a set. And a nice plastic box, sometimes a wooden box. But here's thinner parallels. Sometimes your material isn't that thick, or you want to drill a hole close to the edge of your material, and you're going to hit your parallel with your drill. So then you could use the thinner sets. Then parallels come in wavy sets, and these have their application too. Sometimes you want to drill really close to the edge and the thinner ones won't work. So you can drill between the waves. Sometimes you have a part that's very thin and you can clamp and get real close with this. And you can use one parallel or two. So on the way to Bridgeport Mill, let's press this in. So next step is to press the magnet into the part that was 3D printed. And you could use a pair of pliers, but I'm gonna use my Arbor Press because that's what I have. I made this part for pressing a magnet. It has a little recess in there, and the recess stops the magnet from scooting out sideways. Right now, the magnet is sitting a little bit proud, and that's because of the recess in my tool. Flip my tool around an area side and push it flush. Now it's nice and flush off the Bridgeport Mill. So here we are at the Bridgeport Mill without any parallel keepers. There's a part bolted to a fixture held in a vise. So we open this chuck up and you want to take your fixture and your part out, the parallels will fall over. Now everything is really clean here, and I cleaned it before I shot the video. A lot of time metal chips will fall behind the parallels. And if you don't realize that and you put them back, when you put your fixture back in and tighten it up, it might be sitting on an angle because chips down below or chips behind it. Because you have two parallels, one on each side of the vise, you use four parallel keepers. And I made these out of blue plastic instead of the black that you saw earlier. And with the magnets, it holds the parallels from falling over. With the parallel keepers in place, and we put our fixture back and we tighten it up. 
we do some machining and we want to take the fixture out, they're not going to fall over so easy. You're kind of pushing on them here and they're staying pretty good in, in place. So here's that set I showed you earlier of the thinner ones. We'll just take out these. We'll slip the thinner ones in. The thin parallels are really prone to falling over. And you can see they're not going to you're not going to move. There's a link down below. You can go on Thingiverse. And if you have a 3D printer or you know someone who has a 3D printer, they could print these out for you. This is MKE Gadgets. I hope you found this interesting. Please share this with your friends. And subscribe. MKE Gadgets out.